This is how I feel about this sandwich, y'all. Okay? That's how I feel about this one. Okay? This. This. Burger King. This is how I feel about your spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Okay? That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're gonna eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What up, y'all? It's Tasha back with another video, another solo. Before I get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs it up if you like it, thumbs it down if you hate it. Um, if you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm doing this video by myself today. My better half is right over there on the couch. Let's get into the video. So today I have Burger King. I have a Rodeo King burger, a Whopper Junior, which is what I really wanted. I've never had this before. And then a spicy chicken sandwich, french fries, and onion rings, y'all. Oh, and I wanted to try their tacos. I really don't know why. Um, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I probably would have never tried Burger King's tacos. But I wanted to try this in front of y'all. Just to see how it goes. So that's the first thing I'm about to do. Try a taco. Let me give you the... The entrance of the taco. Whatever you call it. Shit. I don't know what this is. This is meat. is kind of suspect. Yeah. So, but I'm going to go on and, and bite it. Alright. I'm gonna give y'all this bite. This is probably the first and last bite I'm taking in this taco. <laughs> I don't know. It's not bad. It tastes better than Jackie Box? I have no idea. I don't even know how I feel about it. it it's okay. It, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way that meat. I don't like the way it looks either. That meat just looks suspect as hell. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I tried one of these um, onion rings, y'all. They're really good. They taste like Funyuns. Mm, this is honey mustard. What's up, baby? You look or you lingering? Cause my um food is not good. It's not. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with your food, baby? It's nasty. Mm, well. I want some of this. What? What you pointing at? The rodeo king. Come on, baby. All right, y'all. Stephanie came and ganked me for half of my burger. <laughs> this is the rodeo king. Here, y'all. It has cheese, onion rings, and bacon. And I think they put mayo on it, too. I don't know why they put mayo and barbecue sauce, but okay. Mm. It's good. It's a little dry. Mm -mm. I like it actually a lot. Mm -hmm. Woo! I need some water. Kids, don't try this at home. Don't ask your mom if she can take you to Burger King to get you three burgers. Two tacos, some onion rings, and fries. That's just wrong. Okay? Uh -huh. She had two fries, y'all. I dropped one. No, I had two fries, too. But I ordered three large fries. One for Elijah and then two for me. But they failed. Because the universe was like, mm-mm. You ain't about to show these kids all that. I'm surprised nothing else fell. Today, you guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. It's a viewer topic. This is a Whopper Junior. Basically, it's a Whopper. Junior, it's a small whopper, so I'm gonna bite the, I'm gonna bite the uh, vegetable-ish side. Mhm. Mm I'm leaving tomorrow, y'all. I'm not leaving tomorrow, huh? The next day. So. Anyway, I have not been away from my wife for more than how long? Uh, I mean, you was babies for seven days before. Well, I don't think like three days? I don't think it was five days. Yeah, I, I'm leaving for five days. And I know I'm going to miss my wife. And I know I have a son. I'm not going to miss him, y'all. And I'm just going to be real. He's going to be taken care of. And I mean, I'll miss him kind of, but I don't see him half the time anyway. He be in his room playing a game. I guess I'm gonna miss him a little bit. I'm gonna see his little face once in a while. 
No, this was a spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get that one. Because it's not even. Mm. This is how I feel about this sandwich, y'all. Okay? That's how I feel about this one. Okay? Okay? That's how I feel about that. This. This. Burger King. This is how I feel about your spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Okay? I am not joking, y'all. That was terrible. Yes. Yes. It tastes like... I don't know, but the taste is not out of my mouth yet. Uh-uh. No. Everything else is good, though. Especially this. I love this thing. Yeah, that Yeah. I'm eating all of it, thanks. Okay. Don't come bring that hand over here so I gotta go. Hell no. You can have this spicy chicken sandwich, babe. You want it? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Mm-mm. Hey, I thought you wanted some onion rings. Well, since I got this, it's already on. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm. Somebody hit me up today in my comments. And my, because it was my video. She said, I love you, but can you please stop biting food when you already have food in your mouth? Because she don't like seeing the food that's inside of my mouth. Now, I didn't get offended because I feel the same way. I don't like looking at the food in people's mouths. But watching the mukbang is probably going to happen. Um, not everybody is like, is going to be mindful of how they're eating or whatever like that. So I just say that to her. I feel you on that, sis. But you're probably going to see me again bite some food with my mouth. I've already food in it, even though I think it's gross too. It's probably going to happen again. I think I did it. I'm going to zoom in next time. Mm -mm -mm. You know what else? I'm gonna bite this taco again. Baby, come taste this taco. I don't taste come taste it. it. Mm -mm. I don't want that. <laughs> Stephanie will talk about some food. It'll totally turn me off. I didn't even think food was nasty, you know? Like the other day when I was doing my egg roll and I and I tasted the ginger and I was like, it does kind of taste like a mop. And Stephanie tasted it. And said it did taste old. I couldn't eat any more of it. I just couldn't. Could not do it. Um. Tell me our topic. Oh, I know the topic. So somebody hit us up. I don't even know if she wanted to use this as a topic or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I, I'm. Of course, keeping her anonymous. So she's been in a relationship. I don't even have all the specifics. But basically, this is what it is. She's been in a relationship with somebody. I think they've been married for two years. This is her first relationship. Not the person that's complaining, but the other person. This is her first relationship with a woman. She said that their, their intimacy has trickled down to pretty much none. Non-existent. Whoa. Right? So, she's asking what can she do? What should she do? I mean, they used to do things and now it's just like nothing, she said. It's just done. And she said she feels like it's an issue, but her girlfriend or wife, I can't remember, doesn't. They, she's cool with it. So, because she's the one that doesn't want to do it. She was like, I can't never get it unless it's planned. Unless it's planned? No. That's what she said. Oh, that's even worse. If you are a person that enjoys that, a planned one is the worst thing you can get. Because it feels like the person don't really want you. You know what I'm saying? Like, spontaneous is like the best thing, especially when you have someone else. I um, mean, the other person is initiating. Because mm -hmm. you feel like they want you. Not like, oh, tomorrow at 7.30 we're going to. It's like, uh -huh. She said if, um. If they don't plan it and she tries to just get it from the girl, she will get rejected. That wouldn't be able to work for me. She always gets rejected. That would not work for me at all. So, um. Why does it have to be planned? That don't make sense. I don't know. In my opinion, she could just have a low drive 
And with that, maybe she needs to, have you asked her why? She might have a low drive. She might need to, is she taking any new medications? Sometimes medications, the depression can do it. Um, there's different things that can cause that. But if it's nothing medical, maybe, maybe to spice some, maybe you need to spice some things up for her. Um, I'm not sure what, it, what you wear if you are the, I think she's the one that doesn't wear like women's clothes because it looked like that was the case. Then remember, she, this is the first time she's been in a relationship with a woman, her girlfriend, her wife. So, I don't know. I don't know how to say her wife is the first time she's been in a relationship? I thought this person. No, this is the one that's complaining about it. Her wife is the one yeah, that first time. is this is her first time being with her. Uh -uh. I, will, I will be a little bit nervous about this situation. Mm -hmm. I will be very concerned. Mm -hmm. Because I, it's your first time being with a woman. You don't want me. We got to schedule it for what? So you can build up the desire to want me? Well, I don't even understand that why we got to schedule the shit. And if we don't, you don't, you're not going to go for it. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, but okay. She could be tired. You know, um, I definitely say take all things into consideration before you start jumping the gun and thinking that she's dealing with somebody else or wants to. She could have lost attraction to you. And yeah, I want that. Whoa. She could have lost her attraction for you. And um, maybe you need to get... Because it seems like if you're being a certain way for so long and then it just stops. Maybe things have changed in your relationship. Things that you used to do you don't do anymore because you know you've gotten used to it. Maybe you aren't appreciating her as much. Maybe she doesn't appreciate you as much. Maybe you guys need to start going on dates and doing things like that to bring it back. If she doesn't even want to date you, I feel like this, yeah. If she's cool with being affectionate with you, let's say, but she doesn't want to go all the way, then maybe it's just a drive issue or I don't know. She could be sleeping with someone else. I mean, yeah. but it could also be. It could be all kinds of things. Yeah, it could be a lot of different things. And what you were just saying made me realize that it don't necessarily have to be anything negative. Like yeah. as far as like her wanting somebody else or cheating. Mm -hmm. It could be. It very well could be. Like, do you guys have argue a lot? When you argue a lot, mm -hmm. you don't be wanting to. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, if your if your relationship. Is not going well. Sometimes people don't want to, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. be intimate. Yep. So it could be other things. Like look at everything that's going on in, in the relationship, you know. And I would definitely talk to her. Yeah, I'm definitely like that. I think in my past relationships, when um I didn't get along, we didn't get along that well. We didn't do a lot because I wasn't, I, I didn't want to. I'm not about to sit up here and argue with you all day, and then at night it's time right. to get get. No, <laughs> sweetie, you're not about to get this. No, no. And see, this is she, only for the privileged. If she's not being satisfied. She could be taking it out on other parts of it. Like, you, like I like a lot of, you know, with us, mm -hmm. intimacy, right? So I've been with people who don't. And sometimes you get irritated and then you start getting irritated about other stuff. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you might, it might be a hectic kind of relationship. No, Stephanie talking about other people. No, she'll do that with me. No. If she feels like... You don't? Oh wait, I don't know if I have or not. But I'm no, you have. I, can, I have done horrible I, I can things. remember a week maybe that maybe, you know, wasn't nothing going on. And Stephanie will just have an attitude for absolutely no reason. Now, Stephanie's normally a nice person. She normally, she don't have an attitude. She's just like giddy and happy all the damn time, right? But this day, she just had a whole attitude. Just yeah, for no, just, everything just anything. Like, so I was like, let me do this real quick. And yeah, like, next day, psh, let me get out video. yeah, get out my video. You trying to take over. Bye, <laughs> Shit. The next day, Stephanie was a, she, it was a whole 360. She was all happy being her regular self again. So sometimes, and then this. Is it not satisfying to her? Is she not enjoying it? You got to think about so many. There's so many different reasons why. Some I ain't gonna eat the rest of this. I don't. I want to, but nope. I'm gonna go ahead and bite it. Okay. Um, she might not be satisfied. Maybe you need to try something new. And I'm not blaming you because it could be all her, yeah, or it could be both wet. of you guys. Huh? I said maybe your shit wasn't. Mm. Maybe you like too. That could be it. Because if I was with somebody who wasn't great, I wouldn't want it. Yeah. Sorry. I don't want no wax up. I'd rather have nothing. Mm. So basically, you, you want it all or nothing at all? I'm not saying I want it all, but if it's not good, I'm not going to want it. Like if somebody was doing something to you that just didn't feel good, who wants that? 
Nobody. I want one. Nobody, no baby. But she need to say something. Yeah. Like, oh. I'm a type of person. I always have been. Yeah, I probably said it the wrong way, but every time that something like that was going down with someone and I was not enjoying it, I would just be like, mm -mm, no, this is not it. We need to figure something else out because this is not going to work, you know, or just stop. Let me do whatever I'm doing and then you can just move along. You know, I would do that. If you got good intimacy, then the person's going to want it. I'm sorry. They going to want it regardless. No, I don't They're, know. Yes, 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 they will. They ain't gonna be turning you down. If your shit ain't popping, they're not gonna turn you down. They might not initiate. If they tired. All the time though? Okay. I mean, how long has it been? I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I think she said for the last two years. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. If your shit good. She's, I think she said for the last two years, and they've also been married for two years. So since they've been like married, I think. Mm. Yeah. So, um. Run. Stephanie said run. <laughs> um, I say, you know, I'm going to pray for you. And I hope everything gets better. I don't know what your girl is doing or what she's not doing. Or what you're not doing. But obviously somebody ain't doing something. Right. Both of y'all actually ain't doing nothing. To be honest. Somebody ain't doing something or somebody doing something for somebody else. <laughs> but don't let that be the first thing you think. And it could be. But don't let that be the first thing you think that she's over here doing something with somebody else. But you definitely want to make sure that you know that that's a possibility. I'm going to end it right there. I, 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 I ain't trying to. Oh, I'm not trying to instigate something. I just think you should talk to her and tell her exactly how you feel. Oh, yeah. She said she's already talked to her a bunch of times about it. And she just doesn't care. Okay. So if she don't care, then you cannot. You got to not care, too. You got to tell her, well, look, something's got to change or this is not going to work. Especially if that's important to you. Some people can live without it and be okay. Some people can't. You sound like you don't want to and you shouldn't. You're 23. Not to mention she's 23 years old. Oh, hell no. So, yeah. That should be popping, popping. So. Y'all shouldn't have got married so fast. Stephanie said y'all shouldn't have got married. You need Probably to make not. make sure the person got certain shit that you want to live with. All right. Well, we're going to let Stephanie be quiet. Okay, you okay? Get the f out of my video. Hey, you asked me to be in this. Actually, if y'all want to know the truth, then nobody want to be in this raggedy ass, ugly Burger King video, first of all. Okay? She asked me to be in this, y'all. Thanks. Anything else you got to say? Get out the video. <laughs> so, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you hate the video, give it a set your notifications to all. Why? Figure it out. She won't be in your video. Remember on your own. Set your notifications to all so you'll be reminded of the daily live streams, uploads, and Supreme, Supreme. premieres. <laughs> Until next time, only goodbye, baby. Peace. <laughs>